They hopped on top of a tour bus to spread a message. The problem is it wasn't their bus. Hello, I'm Mike Johnson. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. Protesters in Brooklyn Center delayed a bus trip Wednesday morning to tour sand mines in western Wisconsin. As Renee Bonneau reports, they felt it was the only way to have their say on frack sand mining. Social movement, disruption is how social change happens. Just as a group of convention goers were about to board a bus to tour sand mines in Wisconsin, seven protesters climbed to the roof and refused to move. This is a complicated issue, um, but we're not at the table. And we're not at the table unless we really come out and do things like get on top of a bus. The group is protesting the growth of industrial silica sand mining in Wisconsin and southeastern Minnesota. This type of sand is ideal for use in hydrofracking. It's a technique in which a pressurized mixture of water, sand, and chemicals is injected into rock formations to keep cracks open. Natural gas is extracted from those cracks. The bus tour was the finale of a three-day informational silica sand conference at the Earl Brown Heritage Center. Activists from southern Minnesota and Iowa said they tried to prevent the tour to highlight environmental and health risks of sand mining. The silica sand dust, it's a carcinogen that can cause silicosis. And if you go into towns like Winona, the dust flies off of the trucks that come barreling through. In Winona, there's hundreds of trucks a day, and it just coats roads and, and, and cars. Brooklyn Center Police said the protesters were cooperative and came down after about an hour. They, all they wanted was to get their message out, and then once a ladder was brought up, we informed them they would be arrested because of the, the assembly and also the trespass, that they said that was fine and they would come down willingly. The activists said while they are peaceful, they are also persistent. Expect resistance, you know, expect communities in rural Wisconsin, rural Minnesota to, to protest and to slow this down because it's not good for our families and our land. About 60 protesters showed up on the first day of the conference, but no arrests were made. Organizers for the event say this was an educational conference that was neither for nor against sand mining. Mike and Alex, as far as health risks, state officials in Minnesota and Wisconsin say they don't quite have enough data to determine how much of a risk there are to, uh, to, to the public with uh, sand mining. Interesting protest. More to come. Yeah. Thanks right a lot, here. Renee.